Hi, this is Alan Edwards. I'm with L-36.com and I'm going to show you how to make a soft shackle. A soft shackle is made out of am steel and can be used to replace regular shackles in a lot of applications. You can see on my website different uh, ways of using it. This is a new improved design. It's much easier to use than some other designs and yet it's still <clears throat> very secure. It doesn't have a lot of loops lying around. The website has um, detailed instructions on it. It has a little calculator if I can get the camera to focus up there. And you, I entered a six inch diameter is what I want and it gives me the lengths and all of, of what you need to do and where to cut it and how to make it and it's very detailed instructions. The first thing it says to do is to get a 29 inch uh, piece of line of this uh, 5 32nd line and then the first thing is to take some scotch tape, that's the best, and wrap it very tightly, very tightly around the ends. You do that to both ends, I've already done it to the other end. And then I use a knitting needle, this is a knitting needle with the end removed, and you pass, you put a mark, which I've done in the center, and then pass your fid or knitting needle trying not to snag any strands you put that in the end of the knitting needle and just push it through okay. and then pull an eye tight there that's about the right size eye and then you mark you're going to pass the longer end through the shorter end, so you want to mark the shorter end, in this case at two and a half inches. So that's the second place you're going to go through. You take the, the fit or knitting needle, try to get it right in the center through half the threads, strands on one side and half on the other. I kind of do it by eye now after doing it so many times. And then again pass that in through. Now the next step you want to pull that tight and you want to have it be the opening be about the right size to um, have two strands, both strands, that's the way you're going to end up through the eye. I'm going to close that on both of those, kind of pull that tight there, pull that out, and then let's, it's, you know, it's a little bit bigger than the knitting needle. Now the next point is you want to pass the smaller line through the larger line, and that's because the larger line is going to shrink when it gets the smaller line inside of it, and the point there is at six and a quarter. And to do that, you want to and take a piece of tape a little longer this time, you're going to do it the long way and you're going to wrap it around both this is a, a knitting needle, a smaller knitting needle cut in half uh, that forms the fit. Now when you put this in here, don't put it in right here because that can bind things up. You want a little bit of space so I'm going to move it up here quarter, half an inch, something like that and go in and pass that in and bring it out on the mark and then just, just pull that, that through and then you just can break off that needle. Now you want to really uh, mark that, get that eye, make sure that eye is open about the amount you want, tighten everything up, pull it tight really run it a couple times, get the eye just the way you want it. I probably left a little bit too much there, but that's fine. And then, a very important step, you want to cut these to be the same length, because we're going to form a knot there, and we want the knot to be equal both ends. Uh, that forms the 
helps to form the length of it, so we're going to tape those. Now, some people have asked for a video on how to tie a diamond knot, so this will have to be it. I used to pass this then through there, but you don't have to do that. And in fact, it, it may not, it may be harmful, it may be a bad idea. So what we're going to do is a diamond knot. You, 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 first you form a carriage bend. You go around under this and then under there. The most important step in this is to make sure you've got the carriage bend really nicely dressed. You can see the nice figure kind of figure eight pattern, the weave pattern. You've got your thumb here, or your finger here. I'm going to put it up here so you can really see it. You want to make sure you've got that because what you're going to do is in the same direction that this is going, you can go around the leg that's coming up and then up through the hole. And you do that on both sides. You go around and up through that hole. And then that's the knot. Now you want the knot to be, you don't want the knot this way, you want it to be that way. So you need to kind of take these these uh, strands and work them around, taking the slack out, going around the, the circle. So there's one end probably doing the same end again but you got to do this several times now we're going to do this and I'm going to look backwards to find it to find where it starts so it starts there and just pull each one around and when you get it pretty good, you want to look at it, it should look should look like that. It should look kind of the same all the way around. If you messed up when you had the carriage bend and you didn't um, didn't do that right, it won't look right. And that happens to me about, I don't know, every 10% every of the time or something. And you have to untie it and tie it again. So you just keep working this this around until you get it looking pretty nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to clamp this in a vise. And I'm going to pull and I'll put a metal rod in here. And I'm going to pull to equalize both of these and then I'll come back. I am back. Um, I did this on a bench vise and I locked this up and I don't know if you can hear that but it's it's hard like a marble but I'm going to kind of show you what I did with this machinist vise. You make the, sure these um, ends are very <coughs> much the same length and you you put those in the vise and you, you, you lock the vise down tight and then you take a metal rod, I'm going to use it all here, and you, you get some leverage and you, you pull, I don't have this quite set up right, but you pull back so you really put a lot of force on the knot and it locks the knot up and when you're done, if you bang that down, that's, that's very secure. Now the next thing I do is get back about a quarter inch and you cut this off and it's really important to lock it first otherwise when you use it it'll suck those ends in so then I just kind of mess that up so that it it doesn't get in the way it's still a little bit of in so if there is some uh, pulling in of the tail there's something there but I've never had it, it pull in so there is your soft shackle you put around like that it's very easy to use lock, it closes itself you don't have to milk it closed and it has about the, the strength of the line it's made out of. So in this case, it's about 4,000 pounds that this would hold. Um, some people think it's higher, but I wouldn't bet my life on it. So there is your soft shackle. Thanks for watching.